Then how are Jenkins pipelines different than the Jenkins job DSL? They both have the capability to write all your CI CD in code. The difference is in the implementation in Jenkins. Jenkins job DSLs create new jobs based on the code you write. Remember, in a demo, we had a seed project and the seed project would create new jobs in Jenkins. The Jenkins pipelines is a job type. You can create a Jenkins pipeline job that will handle the build test deployment of one project. So can I now start using pipelines and forget everything about the Jenkins job DSL? Well, you could use Jenkins job DSLs to create new pipeline jobs. Until now, we have only created freestyle projects with the Jenkins job DSL. So our freestyle project is just some build steps in a shell that we have used. For instance, we did npm install and we built a Docker that was a freestyle project. You can put whatever build steps you want in a freestyle project in Jenkins. The pipelines is an alternative to the freestyle project. The freestyle project is a job type and the Jenkins pipeline is also a job type. Using this Jenkins job DSL, we have created freestyle projects, but you could also create pipeline jobs with this job DSL. Another possibility would be to use an organization folder, which is a feature of Jenkins pipelines to detect the project repositories, removing the need to add new jobs. You could use these Jenkins pipelines in a way that you can have multiple repositories in an organization folder, and when there's a new project, Jenkins can detect that and will build automatically your new project. So there are definitely multiple possibilities to achieve kind of the same result. It's always a bit different, but in an ideal world, what you would want is that you can just create new projects and Jenkins would automatically build those projects and the code to build those projects would be saved in a version control. There are many ways to achieve this using the Jenkins job DSL or maybe organization folders. In the demos, I will show you lots of different things and then you can make up your mind in what you like most or what fits best with your use case. You might have just a few projects or you might have a lot of projects. You might have microservices, lots of different services that need to be built. So every different use case may need a different approach. So it will really depend on your needs for what option you will need to go. So the pipeline is a specific job type, like freestyle is also a job type, that can be created using the Jenkins UI or the Jenkins job DSL. You can choose to write the pipeline in Jenkins DSL, which is the declarative, which is a declarative pipeline, or in Groovy, which is a scripted pipeline. Groovy, as I explained earlier, is a scripting language for the Java platform, syntactically very similar to Java, and it even runs in the JVM. It runs in the Java virtual machine. So it's basically Java, but then in scripting. Under the hood, the Jenkins DSL is also interpreted by Groovy. So even if you would write the declarative pipeline, it still is in the background Groovy that will go over it.